According to Hollywood celebrity and Lenovo spokesperson Ashton Kutcher during his presentation, the new tablet has an 18-hour battery life and can be used to charge other devices through a micro-USB port. This last feature requires a micro-USB to micro-USB OTG cable, which is not included with the Yoga tablet. What's most interesting about the new Yoga tablet is the kickstand at the back. This folds out so the tablet can stand with the screen facing forward for video consumption on a tabletop. Alternatively, it can go into a tilt mode, which means instead of being flat on a table, the back is raised so typing is more comfortable. When the kickstand is folded in, the cylindrical bulge on the side makes it easier to hold the tablet with one hand. Other specifications include a quad-core 12 GHz MT8389 processor, 1 GB RAM, 1 6 GB internal storage and a micro SD card slot that supports up to 6 4 GB cards. Connectivity-wise, you get 802.11n Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 and optional 3 Guaranis. The above specifications are common between the 8 and 10 inch models. The only differences between them are the weight and screen size. They even have the same screen resolution of 1. 280x800, which means you get a lower pixel density with the 10-inch model. In Singapore, Lenovo will be offering only the 3G model, and not the more affordable Wi-Fi only model. The 8 and 10-inch Yoga tablets will be priced at S$449 and S$549, respectively, and are slated to be launched by the end of November. Watch more latest videos subscribe LOL Tech Media or visit. Thank you for watching have a nice day.